Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you out there, my dear, pushing his word with all truth and sincerity to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And, you know, uh, we the brothers from the GMS Houston camp. Lord allow us to, uh, you know, fellowship. And uh, while we're here, you know, why not do the work? You know, first and foremost, you know. So uh, we just want to speak on, you know, the times when we're in a, a time that the, uh, the power of the earth is being translated from one people to another. You know, that says uh, a change of worlds. You know, it's a paradigm shift that's going on, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, Edom, which is his biblical nationality, he's the current ruler of the earth. But it's not set for him to rule forever. It's set for the Israelites to rule forever, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't. Well, who is the only two nations that give complete, to uh, get complete dominion over the earth as a blessing? Mm -hmm. Esau and Jacob. Well, Esau being a firstborn, he had his first. You and yours right now. At least the Lord let you get your blessing first, being a firstborn. But Jacob still have yet to get uh to get his man. And we are Jacob, man. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, man. And we about to get our rulership, man. As we see you going down, we know we coming closer to ours. Like the apostle said, uh, Lord, would thou at this time restore the kingdom to mm -hmm. Israel? Well, guess mm -hmm. what? We at that time. You know, brothers got anything? You know, Lord, willing this lesson be out of front. That brother's got it. You got something out? My bad. You got it? Yeah, uh, Romans 9. Uh, this is Romans 9 and uh, get straight to the point. This is Romans 9 and uh, 12. It says, well, I'll go over the uh, first. Romans 9 and 11, it says, For the children not being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to the election, might stand. None of works, but of him that call it. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know, but it's going into uh, Jacob and Esau. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was prophesied that the elder shall serve the younger. So the elder being uh, Esau being the firstborn, okay, and Jacob being the second born, you see, so this is a, a part of that prophecy, mm -hmm. you know, and we enter in, into that time of that transition, right? You see, of uh, Esau being uh, on the subject, subject unto Jacob, man, Israel, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah, I can you keep, keep reading on that a little bit, bro. Uh, this is verse 14, it says, What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Yahweh forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the most high that showeth mercy. Mm -hmm. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh. So it says the scripture said unto Pharaoh. Now Pharaoh was the, the king, in other words, of the Egyptian empire, man. At the time when all 12 tribes was on the subject under e uh, Egypt. Well, guess what? That's why Apostle Paul brought Esau and Jacob up. Because this is a subject matter. Esau is that new Pharaoh. And we still under oppression again, all 12 tribes, man. Yeah. But going into that change of worlds, he raised the so-called white man up. Daniel, what, 4 and 17? He set up over the basis of men. He raised these up for a specific reason to bring wickedness and also to bring him down. So therefore, the prophecy could be fulfilled that uh, the Israelites are going to take the kingdom, and it's, it's about to go in too hot. That's the whole sole purpose of Esau being raised up. You got it, bro. Right. Come Romans nine and uh, seventeen. But the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, I have raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's it. So, hey, once Esau, well, he had his height of being raised up, now he's being brought down. And the Most High about to bring his people into that rulership, man. You know, you got something out? Yeah, I'm just going to get you bro. Come on. And it, and it said uh, that they may know his name. So, what does that mean? We have to have the name. For that name to be known, that name has to be, uh, be brought to light. Mm -hmm. See, it needs to be... Uh, Given to the people. 
See, the Most High has given us our name. So if any other camp says that you ain't got the name, or well, the name don't don't matter, that's that's uh, contrary to the scriptures, man. The name is gonna be pronounced in these last days, man. It's like we speaking the kingdom of heaven into existence. Mm -hmm. We speaking Esau destruction into existence. We speaking the heavenly Father name Yahweh Shai into existence. So when the destruction come, everybody know exactly who is the power that brought it, man. Mm -hmm. Right. You know. Right. And it's like when uh when Moses when he when he received the name the mind. Right when Moses when he received the name from uh from the Most High. Right because Moses he was like that uh when I go into these people who shall I say send me? Right. He told them Yahweh. Right, mm -hmm. right. So he went unto the children of Israel with that name, mm -hmm. and so after everything happened, after the Most High judged Egypt, that name was magnified all across right. that 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 known region over there. Everybody feared the Israelites, and, and, and first and foremost, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why it's important to push the names because right. the Most High got to get all the credit. Because if, right. if the name ain't out here, then who gonna get the credit? Right. You know, because people they just say God or, or, or Jesus, but that's that's idol. That's that, that's not direct to anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just some shit that's made up. Because okay. the the heavenly Father has a name that He goes by that we have to right. call Him, and His Son, right? But just like the Scripture was saying that um, comparing Esau to Pharaoh, right? He 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 raised up uh, Pharaoh just to show his power. He gonna do the same thing with Esau, right? Mm -hmm. And it's getting close to that time because when you go back to um, to Egypt, right, reading the book of Exodus, that uh, when the children of Israel began to cry unto Yahweh Bashem mm. Yahweh Shah, he like, right, it's time for me to deliver them. Mm. Right, right, so I'm going to get to this is Exodus 2 and 23. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of bondage. And they cried, and their cry came up unto the Most High. By reason of the bondage, and hey, the scriptures say we in captivity unto this day, right? Subject unto payments, right? Running stressed out and shit because of the things that go out, they that's going on in their lives, you know. Irritated, right? Constantly putting curses up on Esau, praying to the Most High to to, to judge him. It says, and the Most High heard their groaning, and the Most High remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. So the Most High, it said he remembered the thing that he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? To 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 have to, to multiply their seed, right, as the stars of heaven, right. and to give them that uh, the, the land of Israel for an everlasting possession. You know, he started to remember all of that. So it's it's it's, it's the same thing with today, because we are the offspring of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the children of the promise. And we got to receive that promise. That was the whole reason for Yahweh Shai coming and, and, and shedding his blood on the cross because we was cursed. So we couldn't receive no blessings if we was cursed. You know? Right. Brother God, y'all got anything? Mm -hmm. And just to back you up because we cried in Egypt, right? Now, right. America is Revelation 11 and 8, that's right. spiritual Egypt. And that's what we're doing today. I'm going to get this real quick. Isaiah, Isaiah 19 and 19. In that day, Shall there be an altar to Yahweh in the midst of the land of Egypt? Now Isaiah was after <laughs> Egypt. Right. So this talking about another one, clearly. Right? It says, in a pillar at the border thereof, and that altar and the pillar are the different camps you see set up where we give in our bodies as a mm -hmm. living sacrifice. On the altar you sacrifice, right. right? But where you see that camp at, that's those living sacrifices. It says, and this shall be for a sign and for a witness unto Yahweh of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto Yahweh, like the brother said, mm -hmm. because of the oppressors, mm -hmm. and he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. And that mm -hmm. great one is Yahweh Shai, man. Then it said in Luke 1, and he shall be great. That's going to sit upon the, the throne of David. This is Yahweh Shai, so we signed the crown for the last time, man. Well, Esau is the end of the world. You don't have no reason to sign cry after we be taken out of the out of this captivity. We're going to be in the kingdom. Right. Mm -hmm. This so this is our last time the man signed cry for abominations, man. Right. You know? I was gonna say too, because uh Esau Esau about to go harder. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Right, he cause he 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 he's he see that hey this is almost it's almost up for him, it's almost the end. Right? But what happened when, when Pharaoh went harder on the on the Israelites? Mm -hmm. With that with that with with all the uh, the labor that he had them to do, he made them do more work. Right. 
This and this and this is and the people start complaining to Moses like, man, what the hell? You you just said this and that, and now you just made it worse for us. Mm -hmm. So when when the situation got worse, what happened? This is uh, Exodus six and, and and one. It said, then Yahweh said unto Moses, now shall thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. Now. This 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 Pharaoh we're talking about in in Egypt, right? right? But right. it's not gonna happen the same way, no. right? But the Most High is gonna take Esau out, because when the people start complaining, say, "All right, now, now, now you finna see what I'm finna do to him." Now the Most High had to step in, right? Because she was getting tense. So when mm -hmm. she gets tense in this time, the the Most High gonna step in again. He goes send his son the angels. That's why I said Daniel twelve that Michael shall stand up for the children of thy people. Right, you go into Psalm 91 about the angels protecting us, right? Hey, we we gonna need that that spiritual protection. Right. Yeah. Okay. Kind. Um, you want that second Come Come Ezra? Come yeah, what you just said it reminded me of um at second Ezra 15, you know, when he said, My people are led as a flock to the slaughter. Mm -hmm. right. I was actually over there. So. Shit, you got it. I'll bring it out. Shit, you bring it down too, bro. This is uh, Second Ezra 15. Yeah, 10. Second Ezra 15 and uh, 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Hey, that's like the brother mm -hmm. just said. When mm -hmm. Pharaoh came order, the Most High said, I ain't going to suffer that no more. I ain't going to let that shit fly no more. <laughs> you know? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Mm -hmm. And I will destroy all the land that rode. Kind of, if I may, in these times, only the elect are going to get the, the privilege of Yahweh Bashim al Shai doing these things. Mm -hmm. The deliverance, you know, the fashion and how they're going to get delivered, you know, uh, the scriptures go into that the elect are going to eat in that day. You see, other people are going to be starving, but the elect are, are going to be taken care of, man. Right. And this is only for the elect. That's in uh, ancient Egypt, all of Israel, even the, the unbelievers, those that didn't really truly believe, even though. They were going through it. You see, they lost their faith even in the moment. They was like Lot and his woman. Right. In the moment, she she was still caught up in what was happening, mm -hmm. or what was what she was being told that she was going to leave behind. Right. God. Right. But she was being told that it's just going it's going to be destroyed. Right. right. It's not. She wasn't being told that no, you're just going to go over here and then later you, it's going to be gone. Mm -hmm. So you, the mind. The mindset that you're supposed to have right now is shit. This place is going. This this place is prepared to go. This place has been designed by Yahweh Shimei Ashai, and it's known in the scriptures as the day of evil, man. Mm -hmm. Bad times. Yep. My speak. And that's just another uh, scripture to prove that this is spiritual Egypt. Right. Because I'm playing Egypt as before. Right. 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 And like before, so just to know, it's a spiritual Egypt. And it said destroy the land of Rome. You got people still living, and, living in Egypt today. Huh, huh. But mm -hmm. when this Egypt get destroyed, it's like I said, ain't nobody going to do it here no more. Yeah. You know? So. Y'all read it again. So it's second Ezra 15 and 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. He, he's going to bring us. Yahweh is being sent. That's the most high is a mighty arm. He's in the right hand of, of the Most High. You see, Yahweh is that mighty arm that's going to be sent. And Yahweh is, the scriptures go into that, he's going to be sent to Israel, but only to those that are sighing and crying. Those that have the mark. You know, those angels are going to be delivering elect. You know, the 144,000, which consists of only men, and the one-third, which consists of men, women, and children. Mm -hmm. Those are the only ones that Yahweh Shai or that the scriptures benefit when it comes to the blessings and, and the times that we're coming to. You know what? All you other Israelites, you guys are, are screwed, man. Mm -hmm. For lack of better words. Man. And that mark you were saying, that's in the Hebrew, is Tawa. I mean, it's from judgment. Right. Yep. Good question. Let's go to 
There's uh, Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Yeah. And they shall gather together his elect right. from the four winds from one end of heaven unto the other. You see? Right. You say, yeah. right. Just just like the scripture say, just like the brother was going into, hey, only the elect is going to make it out in these times. Because right. like the brother was going into back, back then, all of Israel was able to come up out of there. But it's not going to happen over here in, 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 mm -hmm. in, in the spiritual Egypt, right? The most I said, two-thirds are going to have to die. Right. Because Yahweh Shah's blood don't cover them on the first go-round. So they're going to have to, to, to pay for their sins, you know? Yeah. Because they're not going to accept Yahweh Shah, right? So they're going to have to come back on the other side through the elect, yeah. right? But only the elect is going to have that privilege, right, to be... Saved because the Most High, He didn't already didn't set it up from the foundation of the yeah. world to, to to save these uh these yeah. men, women, and children. Right. You know. Yeah, it was it was by design. The Most High created them to be delivered. You see, they were predestined. They were predestined to be delivered. So it was already by design. The Most High had already created spirits to be delivered. All this has already been played out by the will of Yahweh Shem Yashai. And it's now just being manifested. Now we're living it. But the Most High had already, this has already been done and, and said and over with. But it's now just being played out, man. We, we just have to play this part. You know? And do it. Uh, oh, there was, uh, there's still more you didn't finish off on that. God. Second Ezra's 15 and to 11. Oh, 11. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. Right, and the brother had mentioned that it's going to happen like ancient Egypt, but not the same. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be famines. We hear about that. But we also, there's other things that play into part when it comes into the plagues. There's no such thing as the RFID chip in ancient Egypt. You see, that's a part of a, a form of a plague because it's coming into coming to you by a, you know, a, how can I injection? Say? Injection is coming to you by deception that it's a, a a cure for something that you don't even have. That they just fucking said, oh, this is a fucking disease, and this is a the cure for it supposedly. Right. You see, that RFID chip is getting is getting prepared to be uh, unleashed to the world, man. Those are those plagues. This is uh, spiritually, like the brothers were going into, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man. And the Most High is bringing plagues, man. This is the form in how the Most High speaks to the prophets. Because only the prophets have that understanding or that knowledge. The Most High reveals his secrets, okay? How the scriptures say in Amos, to his servants, the prophets. You see, so we have been given... The ability to go into the scriptures, we have been blessed by receiving the Rahakwadash, which guides us to, through, through the scriptures to gain to gain knowledge of the times that we're in. You see, so and it's not to scare us, you know, because we haven't been given the spirit of fear. It's to motivate us. Cause what's coming afterwards, this is this place is about to go, man. We're not looking back as like, nah man, I haven't lived my best life yet. You know, no, we're shit, hell yeah. Right. All these things, yes, they must come to pass, man. And we're excited for these things to come, man, because what's coming afterwards is something that I can't even fathom to, to put into words, man. Come. Uh, this is Second Edger 6, because this was coming afterwards. Second Edger 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the tongues? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow? Hey, the, who was the first? Esau. So right. He had his blessing first. So what's mm -hmm. going to be the end of this man's blessing? Well, it says for, he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and right. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So this is what's coming, man. This is what we have to look forward to. Like the brother Zion I was going to last night. When we get in the kingdom, it's like we're going to wake up out of a nightmare, man. Oh, yeah. This is a nightmare we're in, man. You see? 
So this man going down, we as the plagues, just like when the plagues hit Egypt, mm -hmm. they hit the people who ruled that certain time period. Right. So as the plagues in Egypt, Esau, they hitting you too because you rule this place, man. Shit, so like your brother. Another plague, the missiles are considered to be a plague too in mm -hmm. Zechariah, man. Yeah. And, and what it said in Isaiah 34, who else will come down upon Adumia? Right. Upon right. the people at the Lord's curse. Mm -hmm. The judgment, you see? Mm -hmm. So it all go together, man. This new Egypt, the judgment it gets, which is it's called Babylon the Great in Revelation. Right. Isaiah 47, the daughter of Babylon. Yeah. Isaiah 34. Jeremiah 49, when Esau, Esau and Babylon the Great got the same des destruction, and that's judgment uh, by um, being desolate, man. You know? So that's clearly a sign to show who rules this current world. Like I said, the, the earth is given into the yeah, hand of the, the wicked. wicked. Right. Malachi wanted for you the wicked. Right. <laughs> you know, you right. the wicked, man. Right? But I had a uh I had a precept because the brother he had said uh that basically everything that's happened is not for us to be scared. Like it has to happen, it must come to pass. This is uh first Edges four and twenty-nine. It said, if therefore that which is sown mm -hmm. be not turned upside down, and if the and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So this place is an evil, wicked kingdom. Right? It's wickedness going on every day constantly. Every day you wake up, it's, 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 it's new wickedness. Right? On the news, whether it's on social media, whether it's red, red of mouth, <laughs> right? You know? So it says that this this got to go away so that which is sown with good can come. What's that? That's the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So all all this stuff that you're hearing about in the news, the rumors of war, the the vaccine, the chip, right, uh, famine, all of that has to happen just for us to receive that those promises. And that 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 has to happen. Come. We got to go through that. That's what what the scriptures say about the. Uh, the straight gate. Right. You got to go through that path just to, and what it is, um, second of the seven. Yeah. Right? You got to go through that dangerous, that dangerous path, that dangerous place just to receive that city that is full of good things. That's the only way. Just to back the brother up, second of seven and nine, straight to the point. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, and it's given to Israel for an inheritance. It says, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Mm -hmm. Right. So you, you got to go through the, you got to go through that uh, that dangerous that dangerous place or that dangerous path just to inherit the uh, the kingdom of heaven. Right. Because in Matthew seven, it get, it gave you two choices, two gates. Right. Two or two paths, I should say. It says the straight gate, right, with that position of difficulty, right? Or it said that the, the, the broad, right? Which everybody go to go through, which leading unto destruction. So it's only two ways. So the straight gate is is you, you suffer, but at the end of that, you, you're gonna gain everlasting life, gain gain the kingdom. Be joined out of the hour shot. But you go into the, 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 the broad way. Right, destruction. Basically, you you gonna you gonna live in pleasures for for quite a time, but then at the end of that, what's that? That's death. So which one is better? You know, the straight gate. You rather suffer a little bit and get saved at the end than the than to live in pleasure and then get destroyed, right? Because the, the thing that the most I about to bring on the earth, bro. Hey, I don't want no parts of it. And he said he's gonna do better than, than what he did in ancient Egypt. Oh hell no. Nah. I don't want no parts of it. Right? Cause you, you if you read in, in the Apocrypha about the things that the Egyptians had to suffer from those plagues, the thing that the most high was doing unto them, you'd be like, oh shit, I can envision it in your head. And the most high said he's gonna be even worse than that. Fuck that. I'm good. Right. That's why we pray for mercy. I said the terror of the Lord we persuade men, man. Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, something else? Um, I'll just get this real quick. This second Ezra 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish 
in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. And you see, the brothers were, were uh, talking to me about this uh, that dude, oh, yeah. whatever that. Well, anyways, he was despising the law because he was saying he was flipping off the Most High because of the pork. You see, the the that uh. These are things that you despise the law, and these are the reasons why a lot of you guys are going to die, man. You know, a lot of you people think that eating pork is, is okay. You think uh, worshiping idols is okay. You have no understanding of sin, but we go into the scriptures, man, to, to show you that the law, statutes, and commandments still uh, are supposed to be applied. You're supposed to walk according to the scriptures. You're supposed to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You're supposed to um, hope for salvation. You see, these are things that you're supposed to do, man. Like the brother was going into how, um, what was that scripture? That 7 verse what? 7 verse, uh, what's that? Seven? Seven, yeah, 7 verse uh, 9. Yeah, yeah. Well, you had it read a little bit more under, no? Now, that's the second under seven and nine. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Right. You see, so we were put in that position, you know, and, and we're repenting from those decisions that are mistakes that we we uh, we committed. You see, because we're we're doing it because we want to uh, we want this inheritance, man. You see, and the scripture says, I'll read it again, 2 Ezra 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish or die in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. You see, so a lot of people are going to die just because they don't do what is written in the scriptures as to the law. Showing you that the law is still a factor in your, in your life. Because you're an Israelite by nationality. You're not an Israelite by choice. This isn't a decision that we made. You know, I personally, you know, didn't say, oh, I'm being Israelite. To, you know, I want to see how that feels. Right. No, this is a, a nationality, man. And the spirit brings that out. All right? Yeah, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Right, because everybody, like, we're going to um, basically come into this truth and, and the, the, the straight gate and, and the gate to lead unto destruction. But right. everybody, they don't even have the option like they they can't they can't choose to to go through the straight gate and to and drift to the end. The Lord got to put that in their spirit. Everybody can't just decide. Okay, you know, yeah, I'm a wake up. I'm an Israelite. I'm gonna do this and that. And uh -uh. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna teach. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have big faith. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna deny the chip. Right. The Lord got to put that in you. Oh yeah. But this is uh this is Matthew 13 and 18. It says, He therefore the parable of the sword. When any man, when, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received the seed by the wayside. So it said, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, what's, what's that talking about? That's talking about this truth, this word that we can go out and preach, mm -hmm. right? This gospel is good news, right? It says, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, right? And that's what that is. That's, that's Satan, right. right? Or demons. That, right. A person could be coming and, and and to to listen to what we got to say, but you might have a person, another person, come up saying, "Oh, don't listen to them. What they 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 teach this, they teach that, right?" They were talking about the rape doctrine, this and that. They were talking about rape. Person might be like, "What? No, I'm gonna go." This is why I'm gonna say. And and catches the way that was sown in his heart, right? Because this word is a seed. So. When, when, when the wicked one come, with, it, it, it can happen in any way, right? Because yeah. they can ask a question. They don't like their response. Then they can just go down the street, right? But that that, that seed, the word, it, it, it pops right up out of them, right? Because they couldn't understand it. Because they, 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 their minds have been blinded by Yahweh Shem Yahweh It says that in Isaiah the 6th chapter. It says, But he that re received the seed into stony places, the same is he that that heareth the word. Hold on, wait, Salaki. But the, the on the last verse, the dude he had no choice but to go through the broad gate, hmm. that path of the destruction. The Most High set him up for that. 
So he couldn't go through the straight gate even if he wanted to. But it says, verse 20, but he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word in a nun with joy received it. If this is somebody, they, 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 they heard it, right? And they got excited. They're like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, fuck the Edomites, you know. You don't have a thousand women, right? But it says, yet had he not root in himself, but during for a while, for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. So when that hell started coming, right, because that's why it's called the straight gate, that's the position of difficulty. He couldn't take it. So he switched paths. It says, he also received seed among the thorns, the seed that heareth the word and the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. This is another guy. He was in love with the world, basically. Yeah. In love with the, 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 the pleasures of this life. Um, he was too caught up into it, right? And, and he couldn't let go of his losses either. Mm -hmm. You have to lose too. Yeah. You got you finish. No, 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 you good. Just like just like the dude that that, that rich man that came in your shot. Oh, okay, kind. Right. He told yeah. him, hey, go sell everything you got. Right. And then come and follow me. But yeah. what he do? He got sorrowful. Yeah. He, he said a lot. He, right. He said he had a lot of shit. Right. He had a lot of he said he had a lot of great possessions. Right. You know? And he said this causes it said it choked the word and he become unfruitful. The word is no longer in him no more. He no longer serves the purpose. But it says, but he that receiveth seed into good ground, he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit, it bringeth forth some in hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. Right? So this is talking about the elect right here. These are the ones that are going to endure to the end that, that's going to receive that seed, right? And bring forth fruit. So this I mean the seed actually did something that it was supposed to do within them. But with everybody else, the seed didn't, didn't really have right. any effect. But the seed when it go, is going to go into the elect, right, which is the truth. And they're going to be rooted and bring forth fruit. They're going to do what they're supposed to do. They're going to go out into the highways of God. They're going to be obedient unto Yahweh by Shem And they are going to get saved. Right. You got something? Yeah, you got it. Just uh, to back up the brother, the scripture goes into, well, um, man. Yeah, where it's at. Yahweh Shad said, Well, he find faith in the earth when he comes back. Yeah, I don't know if it's yeah, I got it. This is uh, Luke 18. And I started, I started at 7. It said, Shall not the most high avenge his own elect, right. which cry Satan. Oh, go keep going up. It says, and it's Luke 18 and 7. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect. Which cried day and night unto him. You see? Because mm -hmm. only the elect is doing this. Mm -hmm. Only the elect is, you know, fed up with this place, so to speak. We're tired of being here, man. Well, shit, I'm tired of being in this body. This is a weak-ass state that we're in, man. You know, we're, we're, we, it's our turn to rule, man. And I'm excited for it. And, and that's that I know that it's eternal. It's forever. Our turn to rule... Which is coming up is is forever, and I'm excited for it. Even though it's going to happen every day, every day, but it's going to be different. But you, I'm 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 looking forward to it like a lot. You know, like a like a little kid in a in a candy store when you see it from a distance. Oh shit, I gotta go. Right. I'm, I'm I'm trying to get there. You know, we we're looking to get delivered. We're complaining about this place because we're tired of it, man. We're tired of this body. Go for it, Doc. It says, Though he be along with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Right. You see, and those men are going to uh, find, Yahweh Shai is going to find faith in the earth, and those men are going to receive salvation through their faith. And it, you know, also applies with the uh, works, man. Oh, God. You see, you have, to, you have to put whatever your lot is. Yahweh had a lot, and he fulfilled his lot. You see, his lot was to be a, a sacrifice unto Israel, or to bring repentance to to Israel, man. You see, and only the elect is uh, acknowledging that sacrifice, man.
Because the scripture, like I just said, he came to bring repentance onto Israel. He didn't single out no nobody. All Israel is capable of uh, being forgiven. Yahweh's blood covers all of Israel, but only the elect are going to, you know, uh, acknowledge their offense. You know, they're going to turn back to Yahweh's Shemiyashai, serve Yahweh's Shemiyashai, you know, uh, and ask forgiveness in the in the blood of Yahweh's Shai. You see, the elect is going to, in the kingdom, acknowledge that. But in these times, those those men that are acknowledging that now, those men are of the elect. All right, those men are going to be delivered, which we hope to take part of, man, because we we believe in what we're saying. You see, we believe in what what we're what we're reading. You know, when we put all that time and effort, we don't do it without no belief behind it that there's some, I guess you could say, reward behind it. You know, we do it, okay, shit, I'm going to put in the work. I wonder what I'm going to get for this, so to speak. You know, it doesn't really come through your that's mind, what, what but I, you... What, that's that's like, like, that's what Peter said, Lord, yeah. we have forsaken all and follow thee. What right. should we have there for? Right, yeah. You see, he was, uh, he was looking for a, a, a reward for the labor and what he has forsaken. You know, Peter, like the brother was uh, going into, in the world, man. So he was asking for a reward for, for separating himself from this world. Mm. You see, because this world, right, especially in this time, with the, the wicked barren rule, shit, there's a lot, there's a lot out there, man. There's a lot of things out there that throw off Jake. And we, we have been given... The responsibility to guide Jake correctly, man. To tell Jake what is the truth. what What's the path that leads to salvation? That straight gate? And what's, how, how you could avoid that, uh, that Broadway? You see? You don't want to be in that, in that, in that area. You, you want to do as much as you can to stay in that straight gate, man. You see, and it's our responsibility to do that, man. And just as much as there's a consequence to those that don't do what we're telling them, if we hold back, there's a consequence. If we take from the scriptures, if we don't do or uh, speak what is what is what is uh, set as for us to speak, because we don't we don't need to uh, have a a rehearsal. I guess you could say skit going on, you know. No, we're going everything based on the scriptures. We have the script to go into. You see, we have the the scriptures, which is, you know, vital. But more importantly, we have the belief and the Rahakodash, the Rahakodash, the Holy Spirit to guide us into these scriptures, man. Um, we got that uh, uh, second, second Ezra 6 verse, verse 9. Okay, we got that. We got that. Uh, uh, what was that? Sirach, ten verse or eight verse ten, I think you said. And we could end it off on that, which was really the topic of the lesson. But eight, ten, ten or eight, mm -hmm. I think you talking about. No, uh, Sirach. Yeah, ten and eight. Okay, come. I'll read it. It is uh, Sirach ten verse eight because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Which is Esau, that's what Esau has done to uh, obtain this world. Although the, 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 the scriptures go into in Job, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. You see, he was already going to receive it, but the fashion in how he received it. All right? He, he, he was a very deceitful uh, man in going about to conquer the world, man. So the whole world is under Esau's authority. All right? Because of unrighteous dealings. Injuries and riches got by deceit. Even this this land, man. This was a uh, gad. This was the whole earth itself is Israel's, all right, as the nation. But this was Gad's land, man. This was uh, um, Ishakarite's land, all right. This this is Israelite's land, man. And they got deceived from their con. Esau will make a contract and make loopholes to where. Those contracts only agree to Esau's uh, plans. Right. 
those treaties they made. Right. With, like, Gadamuru. Right, Gadamuru and Khan. You see, these are things that they had done with, with Israel to obtain this place, man. He, he's done this to all these other nations. He makes, he, he makes the, the deals, the contracts, and all that bullshit, and it's all for his benefit, man. He's not looking to lose, and he do it in a very scummy way, man, to obtain everything. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries... And riches got by deceit. That's why the, the the scriptures go into. If I may, man, let me see if I can get this scripture. Let me get to the Proverbs. Yeah, I always mix it. This is on Proverbs well, they're about 16. Get that. Why Esau, the way he got it, he got his rulership. That's the same way the Most High going to bring him out. He got it by destruction and, you know, and war. Where the Most High going to send his son to bring him destruction and war, man. You know? That's why, he, like you said, the hammer of the earth, nobody on earth, on earth couldn't couldn't get down with Esau. That's mm -hmm. why Yahweh shall go come and get down with him, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Proverbs 16 and 16 and 4. No, no, no. It was, uh... He was going for he created all things for himself. Oh, no, no, no. Right here. It's like, I got it coming. There's a Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. You see? The, We'll get back to that. We'll go, uh, but when the wicked, which this is the time in which we're in, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And since Esau has covered the whole world in his philosophy, his wicked vibration, you know, his way of living, really, because this is not out of, you know, in his mind, he's not doing nothing wrong, man. This is just uh, shit. His mentality being brought to light. Homosexuality. Bestiality, all these things, pedophilia, all these things are running through his mind at a at a constant. You know, it's not just like, oh, now I want to be more wicked. Now, you know, it doesn't. No, there's not love. He he's a perfect wicked, all right, and he has covered the whole world with that man. You see, and it says, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, and the people are mourning, man. And it's coming to a time where all this mourning is going to get to. Um, the people having frustrations, man. You know, uh, seditions among men. You see, because of all the unrighteous dealings, all these things that Esau has done to in the in his time ruling in the fashion how he's done it, man. You see, he he he's a wicked. The so-called white man is wicked, man. And these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to realize that, man. We're exposing your enemies. We're exposing the the wicked, man. It says Proverbs, oh, well, I'll read this now. There's a Sirach 10 verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is tra translated from one people to another. Right, man? It says Proverbs 29 verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And that's what's coming, man. And out of this rulership, the people are going to rejoice, man. Out of all this hell that the world really has been uh, consuming for the time being at uh, Esau ruling, you see, the, now the world is going to be like, uh, even the whole planet itself is going to be like a relief, like, right. like a weight off their shoulders, like, damn, man. You know, finally. Even the trees are going to rejoice. Yeah. The trees are little. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and fire needs to come and cleanse that. That's why those missiles are a, a, a vital part in the the destruction of or really are the one of the vital parts because even Yahweh Shai is gonna be you know burning shit up man. You see? Right, uh, quick pre so. This is uh Psalm seven and nine. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is the spirit that you know that we're in, man. You know, it's uh it says, Oh let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Right. You know, this is what we constantly asking how about yeah. Yahweh Shai, you know. And establish, it's like, but establish the just, okay, mm -hmm. for the righteous power tried the horse and reins, mm -hmm. right? Now, two thirds of our people, they not asking for that. <laughs> you know, they want to continue to dwell in the midst of the wickedness, man. Right. You know, whether they like it or not, no hand join their hand. You know what I'm saying? This devil won't go on punishment. We all be red, I try. <laughs> no one people, no we ain't, man. The most I has uh, made 
nations, and he had one. He had made one nation to be above all nations, which that's us, and that's the nation that is going to come to to bear rule pretty soon, man, in the near future. You got anything else to say? Uh, I just ended it. Second Ezra seven and forty three. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so in the same day, it says, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. So the same day Esau get destroyed by the missiles by Yahweh Shah and the angels. That's the same day the elect gonna be delivered and, and begin that new life, man. Of right. of Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. You see? So when the wicked go down, we coming up, man. Right. That's the balance of the Lord, you know. But you take it out, bro. Come on. So with that, Abra Tadi, how about Shimia Shawun? This was edifying. So with that, we want to once again give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. The honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. In whom we learn this truth from. And shalom to you, brothers, that are pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and patiently waiting for our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who is to come. Shalom. Shalom. shalom.